I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Precision 7530 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over quickly how you can open it up and replace or remove your battery for this laptop and I get lots of questions asked that if I can run the battery in the laptop without the battery yes you can and it will work fine we have tried it for clients that they have a blown battery and they're like okay I don't want that in there can I use it without it we do disconnect them until they get the money to purchase new ones. You can use it with no issue at all. In this video, I'm gonna run over and how to open it up and how to close and remove the battery. Uh, first thing first, power off the laptop, flip it upside down. This video should take about two minutes. You wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You wanna use a Phillips number one. Now, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. All the screws on the bottom cover have a little C-lock on the other side that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So pretty much all you got to do is just twist, 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 and leave it right there. You want to do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right. Now that remove, uh, loosen up all the screws, we're gonna lift up from the back corner, wiggle it around. You might have to pull a little harder and lift it up from the back and bring it upward. And there's your bottom cover. Now we can see the battery right in here. This is a 97 watt hour battery, 11.4 volt, it says, but again, on some Chinese letter, it says 13.2 volt. So guess which one it is, who knows? 11.4 or 13.2 uh, but it's a 97 watt hour battery the part number for this one is an NYFJH I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description if you want to purchase it directly from Dell you want to get the part number which is a 0GW0K9 alright to remove the battery there's three screws that holds it one two Three. You want to remove these three screws. Once you remove the screw, you want to remove, pull this hook thing upward, and you can disconnect the battery and then bring it up and slide it out. That's your big hefty battery, pretty heavy. And remember, once you get the new battery, they don't come with a cable. You might want to disconnect the cable from here. That's how they come. So you have to keep your cable. Once you get a new battery, make sure the cable hooks in straight right on top, right there. You want to bring it down, put the back side, this bottom side in the front end, and then bring it down. And then you want to put the three screws. And there is a really important tip on how you're supposed to first in, do an initial charge and discharge. I'll let you guys, uh, I'll tell you guys in a second. Once you put all the three screws, Grab the connector and plug it straight to the motherboard. Now we're gonna grab the bottom cover. We wanna put the front end of the cover right in here. And then we're gonna close it down, hold it down, and we're gonna tighten up the middle screw first. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the rest of the screw and it's gonna pull the cover to itself. Also, uh, now for the initial charge, once you put the new battery in there, you do not want to absolutely power on at all. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger in an off mode and leave it for charging at least for five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to disconnect the charger, you want to power it on, and you want to leave it working, watching some movies, but nothing heavy for until the charge goes down to 20 or 20, 25%. Then you want to power it off again completely and you want to leave it charging for another five to six hours. After that, then you can turn it on the way you wish, connect it and not connect it and use it as you wish pretty much. That initial charge and discharge is really important for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys like this video and it helps you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.